The inspiration of our story is, of course, the classic Greek tragedies. In Greek mythology and myths and sagas, there's always this dynamic between the Greek gods that are up there on Mount Olympus doing their thing and the impact it has on the smaller people, on the people on Earth, basically. Um, they have their own political reasons, they have their own things that they're doing, but somehow, in the end, it's always the normal people that pay the price. And that's also the case in our story, of course. The main um, antagonist, the player himself, is just a simple man. He's a fisherman. We kind of tell the story how the gods have impacted his life. It is important to make sure that the gameplay is always linked up with the story or that the story is always linked up with the gameplay. And the mechanic that we use to do that are the memories. So basically the player enters this world as deceased, which is clearly a thing in the game. Uh, but he discovers what happened to him, how he got to this point by using memories. And memories are basically the puzzle. And by solving this puzzle, you push the story forward as a player. So you're in full control, you're always right in front of the story, you're always living through that story and seeing what happened to you, which makes these, um, these, these memories the most important mechanic in the whole game. You have two types of mechanics or puzzles, uh, memories basically, which are the active memories which you can interact with, but there will also be parts of the story that will tell you by memories that you can just see happening in front of you. We feel that VR adds an extra layer of immersiveness and uh, player feel. Uh, when you put on the headset on a, on a person, it's really nice to see, uh, make them forget about the real world and really be totally immersed in our world. And I can still see the holes in the wall from here, from the people and the players who tested it and completely forget about the outer world. Um, and also like making your own creations and, and putting the headset on and seeing those objects and interacting with them. It's really something entirely different than just seeing it on the screen and we feel that so far we did a really good job in adding that extra immersiveness. Something that we learned throughout the process of building a story in a game and a virtual reality specifically is that you need a layered structure in your story. You can't just, like in previous iterations, we kind of started making moments and, and trying to use a classical approach of telling a story, which doesn't always work in games, especially not in virtual reality. So what we do now is you have a really sturdy foundation of a story which you can basically explain in two sentences what is will be happening throughout the whole game someone died you know, you'll discover how he died just as simple as that on top of that you put a layer of details and, and almost plot twists that the player has full control over by just moving through the world by doing the interactions by solving the puzzles they kind of make their own tempo at which they'll go through that story Storytelling in VR is actually quite difficult from a technical perspective. Um, it mostly has to do with the fact that the player can go everywhere and do everything he wants, meaning that we don't really have that much control over what he can do. So, for example, more traditional storytelling tools like cutscenes we can't use at all, or at least not in the traditional sense. Uh, so that makes it very challenging, but it's also very rewarding uh, to make storytelling games in VR. Now, as a programmer, I actually really like doing it because um, it's also very intuitive, you know, if you can do something in real life, there's a good chance you can do it in virtual reality as well. So for example, you know, grabbing something, picking something up, or like rowing in Journey for Elysium, it's a very intuitive thing if you've done it in real life. When making games and when you're, especially when you're making a story driven game, it's really important to keep a focus on the why. Uh, if anybody is playing an experience, a game, doesn't matter what it is, they always wonder why they are doing certain stuff. You need to find the why answer on every little thing that you put in. Sometimes you'll have the craziest ideas, stuff that you want to put in the game. If you start like brainstorming with your colleagues, there will be awesome stuff coming up, especially in that world of the that underworld, that place where the dead have roamed. But you need to keep in check and make sure that the player understands why they are there, why they are moving forward. And you need to use those answers on those why questions to push that story forward and to make sure that you build these mechanics around that why question. Another thing that really brings the game to life is uh, the use of sound, obviously, uh, specifically voice acting. However, get, making sure that these voices get into the game is actually quite a, a lengthy process. We first need a writer to actually write the voice lines, then we need uh, to make sure that the creative lead approves of these voice lines so that it fits within the vision of the game. Then we need to send them uh, to the voice actor so that they can record them and then send the sound files back to us. Then the sound designer uh, has to make sure that these 
sound properly. So once that's done, the programmer can take these sounds, make sure that they trigger at the right time, in the right location, um, allowing us to really create an ambience and uh, uh, atmosphere inside of the game. And obviously the voices uh, really bring the game to life in that sense. Obviously as a child I loved stories. These were the times that my imagination could go completely wild and this is also what we try to use so that the story of Journey for Elysium becomes much stronger. In VR there is a very strong sense of immersion but trust me there is still plenty of room for your imagination to go wild. <laughs>